Alright guys, how's it going on? Welcome back to another Manchester United video on the channel. The game against Swansea City has just finished, so we're going to have a look back at that and see how we played and how we went on and what happened throughout the game. But before we get into, into that, make sure to smash the like button on the video. If we could hit 25 likes, that would be awesome. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you've not already done so. So, as I say, the game against Swansea City has just finished and we ran out comfortable 4-0 winners in the end. Um, wasn't really as comfortable, I don't think, as last week's game against West Ham. Uh, but we did see some more really promising signs from Jose Mourinho's side that he's building. Um, in the first half, we set out with pretty much the exact same side that we started with against West Ham. So it was David Aaron goal, back four, uh, Valencia, Bay, Jones and Blint at left back. And then we had Matic and Pogba as a holding midfield two. With Mkhitaryan on the right, Ma uh, Rashford on the left, Mata in the cam spot. With the big man, Romelu Lukaku, up front. And in the first half, Swansea City really tried to frustrate us, basically parking every single player behind the ball and really restricting any sort of space or or room to move, really, for the likes of Lukaku up front and what have you. Rashford found it tough going as well, um, which kind of represented itself in how many shots on target. I think there may have only been one. Um, for the majority of the first half, uh, which was a little bit of a P-roller from Rashford, if memory serves me correct. Uh, but thankfully, United did break the deadlock and from a corner of all places, which we don't score from many corners these days. Uh, it was flung in. I can't remember who took the corner. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the marking from Swansea was a little bit suspect. Pogba got his head on the ball and uh, it took a great save from Fabianski really to touch it onto the bar. So Pogba was really unlucky. But thankfully, Eric Bay was on hand to tap home his first goal in a Manchester United shirt. And uh, the timing of that goal was the most important thing right before half time. And it, uh, it really kind of knocked the stuffing a little bit out of Swansea City going into the break. Uh, second half, we... Um, Again, for the start of the second half, Swansea kind of came out a little bit more uh, because obviously being 1-0 down, uh, Clement will have told them to kind of push out and try and uh, grab a goal because obviously if they grab a goal, it can really change the uh, complex of the game. Uh, but thankfully, United held up defensively quite solid. Uh, Matic having another fantastic game for me at, in central defensive midfield. Probably my man of the match. Um, and I was also impressed with the partnership that seems to be going brewing between Bay and Jones. I was impressed with Jones last week, and I was impressed again with him this week. And Bay's always, always a decent, decent, consistently good player. Um, then, after around about the 70th minute mark, uh, Swansea, not having been able to break us down, uh, they ended up abandoning their uh, original formation, which was five at the back. Uh, four in the middle of the park, and then uh, Ayu and Abraham up front, who were probably their most dangerous two players, Ayu and Abraham, especially in the first half. Second half, they didn't really get as much time on the ball. Uh, Mourinho must have uh, really signalled that at half-time to kind of close them down and not and restrict their space. And around about the 70th minute mark, Swansea kind of abandoned that five at the back formation. Uh, and They went and brought on a couple of players and went to a more traditional 4-4-2. Uh, and at the same time, Mourinho sent on the likes of Marouane Fellaini for Juan Mata and uh, Martial for Rashford and moved to a more uh, a 4-3-3, which I think personally think is our best formation given the players we've got at our disposal. And that kind of reflected itself when not long after that, uh, Pogba ends up finding uh, Romelu Lukaku, who then ends up finding the back of the net. Uh I mean, good work from Martial in the first instance to get the ball. Uh, Pogba kind of took it off him almost. And then finds Lukaku, who's pretty wide open in the middle of the box. A uh, pretty simple finish for him. He continues his really good start in a Manchester United shirt. And then no sooner had the second goal gone in that Pogba is racing, been put through one-on-one -on -one with Fabianski. And he puts a delightful little chipped finish above the goalkeeper to make it 3-0. And then, lo and behold, as soon as that happens, 
We get a little bit of a counter attack, looking really dangerous on the counter, my I add. And Martial picks up the ball on the left hand side, drives into the box, and hits a really nice finish with his right boot past Fabianski into the bottom corner. 4 0 winners. We looked really, really good on the counter attack. And, I mean,. Last last week it was against West Ham and West Ham didn't really offer much at all. They had a pretty poor game themselves. and uh, But this week Swansea did give it a bit of a go and were pressing us and did try to frustrate us, something that West Ham didn't, weren't able really to do last week. And uh, But this week we were able to deal with that, not fall behind, not concede when we were 1-0 up, which we would have done last season or the season prior to that. Instead we held firm and then broke on them and basically put the game beyond doubt from that point. So another really, really, really impressive display. A little bit different to last week in the fact that last week it was pretty much all guns blazing, uh, whereas this week it was more of a reserved uh, type of approach uh, because, as I say, Swansea were trying, really trying to restrict us, especially in that first half. And as I say, I think the goal just before half time from Bay really changed things. Uh, but again, as I say, some really big plus points to come through from that. Uh, some little bit of negatives. Uh, I don't think Rashford had the greatest of games on the uh, on the left-hand side. And yet again, he got put through in the first half when it was 0-0. And fluffed his lines, really. Really should have found the back of the net. And whilst I'm not having a go on Rashford per se, I think he's a brilliant, phenomenal young player. And I'm sure he's going to develop into a world-class player. Um, if he's not already done so. But there are things that he needs to work on and that consistency and that clinicalness when he's going one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper is something he really needs to work on because it hasn't really it hasn't really improved since he's come into the first team. So that is something he definitely, definitely needs to work on in the future. Um, other than that, the only real thing I have to say is about left-back. Uh, Blint didn't have the greatest of games. Uh, I'm not a big, massive fan of Damian, but uh, Luke Shaw looks to be on his way back to fitness. He's going to be playing in the under-23s along with uh, Ashley Young, I believe, which is a bit of a surprise. I think I thought he was going to be out longer on uh, Monday evening, I think it is. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if he comes through that unscathed. And if he does, wouldn't surprise me if he's in the match day squad. Maybe not the next game, but maybe the game after that. And uh, hopefully we can get him into that left-hand side because I think he could be a real real cherry on top of the cake with this United side. And the only last little thing that I have niggling little, not doubts, but a little thing that I would would like to see us change is that moving away from the 4-2-3-1 uh, and uh, going with a more a, a more traditional 4-3-3. Um, although I would prefer Herrera instead of Fellaini up for obvious reasons. But I just, as we saw in the last 10-15 minutes of this game, we just seem better balanced with a 4-3-3, and Pogba breaking forward with the likes of uh, Martial on one side, Mkhitaryan on the other, and Lukaku is a incredibly frightening prospect for any opposition side. So, uh, so yeah, I would I would like to see us move a little bit more towards that this season. Hopefully, we do in the next couple of games. But uh, yeah, another great performance for us. Again, looking very very clinical and looking frighteningly good, especially on the counter attack. And a uh, special shout goes out to, out to Anthony Martial. Two goals in roughly about 40, 45 minutes of action this season. That, I think, is a fantastic little bit of a record uh, going forward. But I'm hoping that doesn't mean that he's going to be kept on the bench because I want to see him start more games. Uh, as far as man of the match, as I say, my shout goes to uh, Nemanja Matic. I thought he had a brilliant game again. Uh, just mopping up, just kind of destroying any sort of little Swansea attacks that they had. And uh, his forward passing really is underappreciated. Really gets us moving in the right direction. So far, his United career, along with Lukaku's, is looking very, very promising. But, as always, if you have enjoyed this United review of the match, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. You know, Let me know in the comment section how you think we played and uh, who was your man of the match. Let me know down below. And other than that, lads, I will catch you next time.